All right, sounds good. Thanks, Bill. Back down in the newsroom now and a disturbing story coming out of Ionia County tonight. Four men there facing charges for poaching involving more than a dozen deer and wait until you hear how they were caught. 24 Hour News 8's Jessica Leffler with this story tonight. Well, Brian, they were busted because of their posts on Facebook. Investigators suspect that it started as a hunting competition between two of the men, then spiraled out of control. The Ionia County Assistant Prosecutor says the four men were caught after one of them posted on his Facebook page that the Department of Natural Resources wasn't onto them and how many deer they had killed. Then a tipster saw that post on Facebook and contacted a poaching hotline with the DNR. Investigators went to the home of Oney Miller on Brown Road in Danby Township in Ionia County. There they say they found nine bucks in various stages of processing, up to 20 freezer bags full of venison and remains and heads of other deer. All of the charges are misdemeanor offenses. Oney Miller faces the most charges and was at his home where this went down. The prosecutor's office charging him with eight counts of possessing deer without a valid kill tag attached and six counts of exceeding season limit of taking deer. His restitution would be $1,000 for every deer he killed, totaling $8,000, and he would not be able to have a hunting license for the next three years. Kyle Jackson, a Lake Odessa resident, is charged with four counts of possessing deer without a kill tag attached and two counts of exceeding the season limit. Jordan Munsters faces one count of failing to possess a kill tag and another count of hunting without a license and borrowing or using another license. Adam Fyan is a Lake Odessa resident. He faces a charge of loaning a license to Munsters, but we were able to make contact with his family. His father tells us he was the one to give Munsters the hunting license, and that happened while Adam was away at college. 24 Hour News 8 ran background checks on all four men and did not find any prior offenses. Adam has already been arraigned in court while the other three have not. We did speak with the Ionia County Assistant Prosecutor. He says that he's expecting the other three to turn themselves in, and if they don't, they will be, quote, sought after. For now, we're at the live desk. I'm Jessica Leffler, 24 Hour News 8. Back to you.